Hello boys, we're in Cambridge, Ontario. It's time for us to go some game hunting. First time I've been in Cambridge. I actually came here today because there's a Facebook deal I'm gonna do. Unfortunately, that's until five. And yeah, it's an hour away from Toronto. Why not? Let's start game hunting here. This will be a first. Uh, uh. This is a $20 one. This is pretty good. Feels complete. Nice. What is up, YouTube? This is the end of the video where we're going to go over our pickups video, uh, pickups of things I picked up in the last week. Uh, lots of items, actually, a whole variety of items, as you guys can see here. Most of it is actually from Facebook Marketplace deal. 
a few items from pawn shops, one from a friend. I'll go into the detail about that. And this is all thrift stores. So you know what? I'm going to get the, we're going to go from this way to this way. So we're going to do thrift stores first. Uh, one day I went to Value Village and it was out in the Oakville area where I used to work uh, two years ago at a children's gymnastics place. Um, I haven't been out there in a long time. So I decided, you know, let's like a stroll down memory lane. And one of the Value Villages that I went to, I found this a Wii U Legos Dimension. This is complete. I paid three bucks for it. Um, this is about like a $14, $15 game. I don't know why, but that's pretty interesting. I'm not sure if I'm gonna keep it or not. I probably will, cause I kinda wanna build up a Wii U collection. Cause like I mentioned in my previous videos before, I think Wii U's will be difficult to find the games anyways in the future. So it's good to pick this up for three bucks. At a second value village in that town, um, a pretty crap value village actually. <laughs> uh, when it first was announced being open, I was so hyped for it because usually new value village means new deals, new opportunities to find games. But the first day when I went last year and I looked, they were overpriced to shit. It was really bad. But I found one game, Dropcast. They had this for five bucks. Apparently this is a $10 game. So I'm like, cool. I could always pair it with a DS system to get rid of it if I want to for more money for more games. Gotta go game hunting. Gotta fund the addiction. So yeah, this is complete as well. At another Nutter Value Village, far out in, um, not far out, but in my city, in the east side of the city, one of my Value Villages that I had such amazing luck at six, seven years ago, finding amazing N64 titles for three bucks a piece, like Conquer and Mario Party. Well, seven years later, it's become crap, like most Value Village and thrift stores. But I found one DSi. Uh, didn't come with any charger, didn't come with any game, but the hinge is great and it works actually. I tested it out at the shop and it played the games properly too. I was able to play um, Yu-Gi-Oh! Spirit Color, which is the game I'm playing right now on my 3DS. Turn on, please. Ta-da! Pretty good shape. The last family who owned this took way too many pictures on this DSi. I had to delete a few because if I'm going to sell it or I don't know if I'm going to keep it or sell it if i choose a seller i gotta get rid of all the pictures you know make it you know all the pictures are confidential or deleted so nobody knows who they are or know their, their faces you know what i mean common courtesy but yeah i paid 15 bucks for this not bad pretty good uh and one other ps2 game i found recently this was actually yesterday i went to cambridge ontario to do some facebook deals i'll show you what i got from there later in this video but out of out of value village i went to three found nothing at two of them one of them was overpriced to shit as well but this one had one ps2 game uh, 50 cent bulletproof i didn't realize this is a 20 dollar game uh, i'm familiar with the rap artist but i didn't know they made a game for him so six bucks pretty good complete as well let me just open this up pretty good shape i don't know if i'm gonna keep it or not i might just uh get rid of it maybe flip it we'll see anyway anything i flip will always go towards funding for the collection. So nothing's ever going to be making profit or anything like that. I'm not, I don't really care for money. I care more for games. So yeah. Ooh. Now moving on, we have one gift from my friend. Now I'm going to explain the story about this. Um, he's trying to get rid of his PS2 games uh, and he doesn't want to keep them. He got them for free from his parents a long time ago who was donated, passed down by one of their family friends. And he doesn't want to keep them. He wants to sell them. Um, so I was like, okay, sure, I can do it for you. Because he doesn't know much about the value of the games. But I do. So he has a ton of PS2 games here. He wants me to flip. I'm not keeping any of them. I can't because they're not my games. So the games that he's looking to sell are right here. All these. Complete. Uh, Tony Def Match. Tony Underground Celebrity Def Match. Not having the manual. Four loose PS2 games, all sports titles, and probably the highlight of the bunch, Champions Noraf and Dark Alliance 2. He's trying to have me sell them locally, makes it easier to flip them, and then whatever the amount he get, I get from it, he's going to give me a commission. And I told him, you know what, dude, don't give me a commission. Instead, give me this. So there was one game in the lot I had my eyes on, and this is Resident Evil Outbreak Files 2. 
Uh, I'm trying to build a mass a Capcom collection in my collection, so that's why I need this. And I didn't realize how much this goes for. I just chose it blindly because I like you know Resident Evil. I want another Capcom game in my collection, but I didn't realize how much it was going for. Either or, this is my commission. He was gonna pay me twenty bucks anyway, but what the total amount I was gonna flip for. I'm like, just give me this. I want this in my collection. I played it and I actually enjoyed it. So, Resident Evil Outbreak Files Two is officially mine. So yeah, very cool. This is also complete. Ta-da! In pretty good grand spanking, grand spanking shape. Now, moving on to Pawn Shop. Not much. Pawn Shop finds. At Cambridge yesterday as well, I found Magic Carpet. Complete. At a record store called Beats Go On. I think the beat goes on. They sell CDs, DVDs, vinyls, and a very small selection of games. I know there's one out in Oakville, but I've never been to it. So this one, I checked this one out, and... There's not many selections. You'll, you've probably seen it from the clip that I'm going to show prior to this uh, pickup video. But uh, still, pick this up, Magic Carpet. Uh, I was hesitant to pay the 20 bucks, but when I looked it up, this goes for 40 So for half, that's cool. And it looks like a <laughs> it looks like a mix between Aladdin and like Star Fox. Because it's literally a shoot-em-up. A 3D looking like flying carpet, flying carpet third-person shoot-em-up. Which is actually very funny if <laughs> you think about it. But pretty badass, the idea of it. So, yeah. Uh, at another, uh, a week prior, I went to Port Hope with my friends out in the east side for like a little Thanksgiving, uh, not Thanksgiving, like a Halloween picture taking and wanted to get the burger from this burger place called Olympus. Uh, before I was meeting up with them, I stopped by a pawn shop called Buy and Sell Kings. Uh, not the same one I usually go to in Toronto, but there's one out in Oshawa and... I originally was going to go to Hawk Shop because I knew there was one out there, but they're right beside each other. And I don't know why, but Hawk Shop looked kind of dead compared to the two. So I went into Buy and Sell Kings and I found two PS2 games, uh, Yu-Gi-Oh games. First one being Yu-Gi-Oh Capsule Monster Coliseum. I paid 10 bucks for this, which is a pretty good deal considering this is a $20 game. And Yu-Gi-Oh Dark Duelist of the Rose. I think the price tag is still here for this one. This one I paid... 20 bucks, which is meh. It's about what it goes for online. The reason I picked them up is because I'm actually a big Yu-Gi-Oh fan. I grew up, eh, not so big now, but I was when I was a kid. I grew up playing the original Yu-Gi-Oh series, then GX, and then I think 5Ds, which is the third gen. That's the one I quit, where they play Yu-Gi-Oh cards on motorcycles. After that series ended, I stopped after that. I think that's when I was in high school. And the reason is because all the other Yu-Gi-Oh series going forward didn't interest me. Or had nothing remotely to do or connected with the first series, which is this one. So I'm pretty happy I bought these two. And I also have some gaming memories with this one. Uh, growing up, there was a guy in my neighborhood, a family friend of my mom's, who had this on his PS2. And I remember playing this with him a lot when I was in elementary school. So yeah, pretty nice. Pick these two up. Complete. Very, very happy. Now we move on to Facebook deals. And we have a lot from uh this week very very many um highlight i'm going to start off is this one the animal crossing nintendo switch edition recently i've been selling away all of my pokemon cards uh mostly to fund my collection for hunting video games but um i took notice of the calendar that november 3rd was me and my girlfriend's 100th day anniversary in korea she's korean it's a traditional thing to do every 100 days not every, I guess, just the first 100, because they don't really follow yearly or weekly anniversaries like we do here in North America. So being her being from Korea, I wanted to get her something special. And since she's a gamer girl, she really wanted to have a Switch. And I thought, you know, getting a regular Switch would be cool. But when I found this one ad on Facebook Marketplace, this one lady was selling this for 350 complete. I was like, fuck yeah, I'm getting this. And so with the money I saved up from selling Pokemon cards, I used it all on this Switch for her because she means a lot to me and I love her. So this is why I got this for her. So I, she was so excited when I sent her the picture. Oh, I cannot wait to see her actual expression when I give this to her and set it up in her room. <laughs> but anyways, moving on to the next Facebook deal. Uh, I saw this one ad. Oh, where's the other game? Oh, right. That's right. I sold it. So I found this one ad on Kijiji, not Facebook Marketplace, but uh, this guy was selling three Resident Evil games. The other one was Resident Evil 4. I actually sold it off and traded off already because I had a friend who really wanted the game, so I didn't keep it. But basically, he was selling me Resident Evil 4, Resident Evil 0, and Resident Evil 1, each for $15. 
it total was 45. I asked him, would you do 40? He said, yes. So I paid 40 bucks. All of them are complete. The Resident Evil was missing the manual. Resident Evil 4, I know that was missing the manual. But each one of these have their manuals of both the disc. Yep. So pretty nice. Very, very happy. These two will go straight into my collection because I don't have them. So yeah, more to add Capcom titles to my collection. <laughs> now we move on to Star Fox Assault. I met with one guy on Facebook Market last week. I'm actually meeting with the same guy again in two days to pick up another game. You guys are going to have to wait to see that in the next pickup video. But yeah, he had this uh, copy of Star Fox Assault. He was selling it for 30 bucks, which is a Decent deal. It's half of what it goes for online, which is 60. I want all I've seen this game go for is 60 everywhere. Yes, it is the player's choice edition, but this is a game that I really wanted to play a lot. So I don't care that it's not the you know original one, original uh, copy, which is fine. You know, it doesn't bother me that much as long as it. Uh... Oh my god, I feel like a controller under my chair. Must be for the TV. <laughs> but anyways, yes, it's complete. It works. I'm so excited to play this when I have the time. If I ever find the Black Label one, sure, I'll get rid of this one. But for now, I'm holding on to this. Anyways. Next up are three Nintendo DS titles. On Facebook Marketplace, this lady was selling them for $10 a, pe a beach. A pe a beach. Sorry. Watch my, watch my mouth. Uh, even though I said the F word earlier. Three, uh, $10 a piece. Uh, new Super Mario Brothers for the Nintendo DS. Pretty sure they're all complete. Yep, they're complete. Uh, Mario Kart DS, because this is one of the other games that I gave away to my nephew uh, last year when I went to Vietnam. It's Dad and Super Mario 64. If you guys saw in the first uh, video game pickup video, I did get the Super Mario 64 DS back. So now I got the Mario Kart DS back. Very nice for 10 bucks too, complete. And then the last game was Mario Hoops 3 on 3. This game to me is very unique. One of the hidden gems of the Nintendo DS Mario title games. You don't hear about this game that much. I played this game so much on emulation back in middle school, and I always wanted to have the physical copy, and now I do, and I'm very happy. Ooh. Complete the manuals right there. The game's right there. All in good shape, and for 10 bucks, I can't complain because it's a basketball Mario game. Fun, really fun. Definitely check it out. Really, really fun game. So, yeah. Put that aside. Now the last few of... Facebook deals starting with this uh, about a couple days ago I saw a lady posting on an ad for some Game Boy games she actually had DS and Game Boy Advance games but somebody beat me to it to those games um, she lived in a retirement home complex which is odd because she actually is very young so I assume she might be living with her grandparents or something but she had these three games marked at 10 bucks a piece and I was like hell yeah I'll pick this up first one being Kirby's Dream Land Super Mario Land 2 and finally, Pokemon Yellow. I already do have a copy of Pokemon Yellow, but it's nice to have another extra for 10 bucks. I ain't gonna say no. Uh, this one is working with save file, properly working save file, so I'm very happy. Definitely, probably, I'll uh, thinking about maybe flipping these down the road, but for now, very nice. Can't complain, honestly speaking. So yeah, for 10 bucks a piece, hell yeah, I'll pay 30 for all three. Next up are N64 titles, also on Kijiji. I found this lady selling these three N64 games for 20, 20, and 15, which was a total of 45. I asked her, would you do, oh, sorry, 55. I asked her, would you do 50? She said yes. And the titles are Banjo-Kazooie, Pokemon Stadium, and Tony Hawk Pro Skater. I already do have Banjo-Kazooie and Pokemon Stadium, so I will get rid of these two. Probably trade it or sell it to make some more money to go game hunting. But Tony Hawk, I don't have this in my collection. So definitely this will go straight to my collection. I think this has a little coffee stain. It feels or a little wet stain. Yeah. But these two are in beautiful shape. Like this one and this one's in beautiful shape. So that's pretty cool. I'm happy. And the last game I picked up was the Facebook deal I did in Cambridge. Was a copy of F-Zero X in a Nintendo 64 case. Rental case, I think. For 20 freaking dollars which is again you think it sounds amazing it's a decent deal considering it's a 30 dollars game but this is a game i've been trying to look for for a long time another game that i played on emulation on the wii back in high school it wasn't one of the n64 games i grew up playing as a kid but after finding out about it and playing out the wii it was so good i knew down in the future i need to have this game in my collection and playing it again and there we go
now I do for 20 bucks. I'm very, very happy. So yes, my friends, these are overall the pickup finds for this past week. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Remember to comment down below what you love about this video, your favorite part about it. If there's any feedback you would like to give me, please do. I appreciate it. I would love to grow and learn. And yeah, if you haven't subscribed, subscribe. Check out the past videos and leave a like. That would really help me a lot. Until next time, have a wonderful week. Bye, everybody.